thank you all for being here. I um, I've been looking forward to this since last week, and and one of the reasons for that is because I I think particularly in these moments and these times there is something so needed and, and deeply um, crucial to us taking care of ourselves in these moments and to stepping away from the moments of our day to day to really care for ourselves. So I really just also want to extend gratitude to you for taking that time for yourself because. It can be hard to come by, but it, your time um, and your spaciousness is so precious. So thank you for being here. Uh, so <clears throat> I won't do a full kind of reintroduction to the series um, if you were here last week, but I will just briefly kind of orient us together to what some of our um, aims are in being here together and being in this space together. Um, and a part of that is really just acknowledging that, uh, you know, there are lots of ways that we embody, um, that we have thoughts and beliefs and feelings and sensations in our body that, um, that, that are rooted in these binary constructs. And what I mean by binary constructs is it's this, this or that, right? It's black or white, it's good or bad, it's healthy or unhealthy. There's all of these different ways that those binaries live on and that we are really steeped in that kind of thinking. Um, and one of the reasons for that is because we move through this really complex and nuanced world and life, um, trying our very best to just make sense of our experiences and to try and organize them and label them so that we can create hopefully some sort of sensical or cohesive way to move through the world and to understand ourselves and to understand our lives. So it's important too to highlight that one of the many ways that trauma can impact us is that we can learn whether that's in our cultures of origin or in our families of origin, um, that it's an important survival strategy to label things in, in this binary or this or that kind of way. It really helps us if that's the environment that we're living in, right? So it tells us that we are this or that, that we are good or bad, that we are unhealthy or healthy. And so together uh, in these weeks uh, that we spend together, we'll, we'll be exploring through meditation, through movement and art, how we both experience these binary ways of thinking and being, and also how we can move into more expansive ways of, of existing in the world and our identities and in our feelings, um, as we'll focus on today, um, to, to move outside the constructs of those labels so that we can have more gradients in our lives, more lives, more um, uh, more options, more fluidity, more flexibility. Um, and that can be incredibly liberating. So that's my hope for us today, as we'll use a yoga nidra practice to do some of that exploration. So today, we're going to focus on our emotional landscape and world and how the this or that or, or binary way of experiencing feelings can show up. One of the ways is that we, we, and a lot of this depends on our culture, right? And the identities that we hold is that we're told that emotions are rational or irrational, right? We're often told that certain feelings are positive and certain feelings are negative. We want to stay away from some and we need more of another. That we're too emotional or we're not emotional enough. And again, this deeply connects with identities such as um, you know, based on gender identity, based on gender expression, based on race. And so the root systems to this way of thinking are deep. And I want to just hold that that's going to be really unique for all of us, depending on all kinds of different factors. So that being said, let's do a little exploration. Um, if you were with us last week, you'll know that one of my number one aims in guiding these practices is for folks to be as physically comfortable as is accessible to them at any moment. So if that means lying down for you, go for it. Go ahead and get as comfortable as you can. Um, you may you can grab pillows or blankets and uh, bolsters, anything that will support your body. Maybe you're already there and you're ready for that today. Otherwise, finding any position that feels the most comfortable for you for seated, you're the only one that's really going to know what that means for you. Um, and then we'll be diving into, into this yoga nidra practice together today. So Today's practice, as I mentioned, is really going to kind of build on what we started with last week, but using our experiences of emotions in our in our bodies um, to explore opposites and then the space between and the space beyond. Um, so I'm excited to, to dive in with you. Another little quick reorientation or an orientation if you're new with us this week or to the practice is that one of the coolest parts about this work, um, this kind of a practice, is this idea of being really curious and welcoming towards our experience and understanding that there are lots of different messengers 
that show up um, throughout our practice and throughout our day-to-day lives, but that those messengers are things like sensations, urges, emotions, um, thoughts, or beliefs. There's a variety of different ways that messengers kind of knock at the door. And so part of the practice is to answer the door with curiosity Um, and without the need or desire for something to necessarily have to change in that moment, there may be something that needs some tending to or shifting, but ultimately um, it's to hold this curiosity of, huh, like, what is this messenger here to share with me? Um, Is it letting me know that I need something or is it just announcing that it's present and how can I be curious about that? So I'll just remind us of that um, as a bit of a, a, a shared intention that we can set. So um, if we, during the practice, encounter sensations or emotions that feel scary or unpleasant, oftentimes our immediate reaction is to retreat or to ignore or to suppress them. And what I would offer as an invitation, if it feels okay for you, is to take a moment and see what is it that, that we can perhaps welcome as a message in whatever it is that's coming up without needing to change anything um, to hold this, this broad kind of a welcoming stance and then just see what happens. And then if something needs to change, then of course, take care of yourself. That also being said, everything is an invitation here. Everything's an option. Um, you are the best person to, to dictate what's best for you in any given moment. So I'll invite you to, to really tune into that as, as you can. So let's go ahead and get settled. Hopefully while I was chatting, you were finding your way into a comfortable seated or lying position. Um, and just start to tune in, checking in, noticing, is there any adjustment that you'd like to make to make yourself feel more supported, to make yourself feel more comfortable on the surface that your body is resting upon? You may allow your eyes to gently close or to soften your gaze if closing your eyes doesn't feel right in this moment or if that takes a little time. But taking some moments to really settle into a position that feels just right. During this practice, you'll be guided to notice and feel physical sensations, breath moving in your body, emotions, feelings of perhaps well-being or joy, and also to experience yourself as the witness of all of the things that are coming and going, unfolding and changing in your experience and your awareness. And know that whatever your experience is, it's perfect just as it is. There's no right or wrong way to engage in this practice. So now simply allowing yourself to rest, to find ease in any way that it may be available to you in this moment and to follow my guidance, to let my voice be a guide. As we step into the practice together, inviting you now to bring attention to all of your senses. You may notice the taste in your mouth, You may notice the sounds around you. Perhaps any smells. Or any images, colors, or shapes that you may see behind your eyelids. Noticing the touch of air on your skin or the feeling of any textures either in your clothes or maybe a blanket or the surface that you're resting on. All of your senses open and alive, receiving, welcoming, curiosity. We'll now take just a few moments to explore. If you were with us last week, you may notice the return of a resource that you identified already. And this is something, anything really, that when you bring it to mind, gives you a sense of security or ease, or maybe even just neutrality. This can be a special place that you bring to mind that you imagine, perhaps a place in nature, could be an image of a favorite symbol, an animal. Sometimes it's something as simple as even just a very small part of our body that when we tune into it, just feels like this neutral, safe, connected place. It could be something as small as your big toe. Just know that there's no right or wrong way to identify a resource. And then as you identify what this might be for you, 
begin to imagine it using all of your senses. So as you hold this resource in mind, do you notice any sounds or smells, tastes, colors perhaps, shapes or textures? Really allowing yourself to sense into any feelings of comfort, ease, security, or well being as you imagine your resource. And as you note any of these feelings that may be present in your body, any pleasant or neutral sensations or feelings, know that this resource is available to you at any moment. You can recall it should you wish to return to the sense in your body. You can return to it in your practice. You can return to this in your daily life whenever you need or want to reconnect with this sense of perhaps ease, security, or calm. So knowing that this is available to you and accessible at any time that you may need or want, and I'll invite you to bring to mind perhaps an intention for today's practice. And this could be something so small. Maybe it is just how you'd like to feel during or as a result of your practice. Perhaps it's to commit to the sense of welcoming or curiosity or a little relief from physical discomfort or from emotional pain, whatever it may be. Allowing your attention to fully emerge in your awareness Feeling your attention really as an ally, something to support you throughout your practice, to connect with, to remain engaged in your practice, and then affirming this feeling of your intention with your entire body, your entire mind. And then letting that just drift away, drift to the background, knowing again that it is there for you as an ally, as a partner in your practice, as you start to let the sound of my voice be your guide and to support you in experiencing sensations throughout your body, welcoming them with curiosity. As I name each area, you may feel sensations that are present or nothing at all. Whatever you experience, it's just as it is in this moment and is great just as it is. Bringing attention first to sensations inside the mouth, in the throat, and the outside of your mouth, in the jaw. Noticing sensations in the ears, the left ear, in the right ear. Sensing both ears at the same time. Noticing sensation in the nose, perhaps as your breath moves in and out, the left nostril and the right nostril and both nostrils at the same time. Sensation in the left eye and right eye and both eyes together. Sensing forehead, top of your head and back of your head, neck and inside the throat. Noticing and welcoming sensation in the shoulders, starting with the left shoulder left upper arm, forearm, wrist, hand and fingers, the entire left arm. Noticing and welcoming sensation in the right shoulder, upper arm, forearm, wrist, hand and fingers. 
sensation in the upper chest, the upper back, middle chest, middle back, abdomen, lower back, the entire torso as a field of sensation. Noticing sensation in the pelvis, starting with the left hip, upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, foot and toes, the right hip, upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, foot, and toes. Sensing the entire front of the body, back of the body, left side, and right side. Sensing the entire body and aware of all that is present in your awareness. Feeling yourself as the one who is aware of everything that is arising and unfolding, and falling away within your awareness. Noticing this coming and going of sensation. And begin to allow that awareness to fade into the background. Welcoming any sensations of ease, of comfort, safety, anything that may feel pleasant or neutral. Remembering that anytime you may experience the need or desire to feel secure and at ease again, you can return and recall your resource at a moment's notice. Now I'll invite you to bring attention to any emotions that may be present. And it may be something that is calling for your attention, for your awareness in this very moment, or perhaps in a, it's an emotion that has been knocking at the door in your daily life. Whatever it may be, allowing this emotion to fully emerge in your experience. Again, welcoming all aspects of this with curiosity, without judgment. Noticing as you are present with this emotion, does it show up anywhere in particular in your body? Are there any sensations that accompany this emotion? You may also notice a particular place that it lives in your body or perhaps it moves. Holding this stance of curiosity as this emotion fully emerges in your experience knowing that it may have images that accompany it, thoughts, beliefs, and physical sensations. And if there's no emotion that is present in this moment, that's okay, simply welcoming whatever is present. So again, allowing this to fully emerge for a moment. And then when you're ready, pause for a moment, just gently finding a little bit of distance from this particular emotion. Pausing and asking, if this emotion had an opposite, what would it be? And then greeting and welcoming whatever this opposite emotion may be, again, fully welcoming it into your experience as you open up with curiosity to where it lives or shows up in your body, any sensations that may be present. Noticing any company that joins this emotion in the shape of images, perhaps your thoughts or beliefs, or you may just stay with the emotion and any physical sensations that accompany it. 
remaining curious. Allowing it to fully emerge in your experience. And when you're ready, I'll invite you again to pause to find just a little bit of distance from this opposite emotion that you have welcomed into your experience. Now welcoming both of these emotions into the body, into your awareness at the same time without thinking, simply experiencing how doing this affects your body, how it affects your mind. And as you hold both of these emotions simultaneously, noticing what is just inside of this experience or just beyond this experience. Do you notice in holding both emotions, any gradients that show up, any shades that show up around your emotional landscape and experience? As you hold awareness of these things, what happens when you hear and feel the word sometimes? Sometimes this feeling. Sometimes that feeling. Aware of all that is now present within your awareness feeling yourself, noticing yourself as the one who is aware of everything that's now present and that has been present. How you are the one that holds this awareness and perspective of everything that arises and unfolds and falls away. Allowing these emotions to fade gently into the background, knowing anything that is needing or wanting more attention will ask for it, and that we can return again to pay attention. I'll invite you now, in whatever way is accessible to you, to bring your attentiveness, your awareness to any sensations throughout your body that may be uh, feel like happiness, they may feel like warmth or joy, or perhaps you can recall particular moment or event that invites some of those feelings. Perhaps bringing attention to something at the very center of your heart that feels warm and light. Almost like an inner smile and imagining that with each breath you are feeding this warmth, you're feeding this light. You're feeding this inner smile or whatever sensation you're connecting with and allowing it to radiate, to grow. With each inhale, it gets a little bit bigger. It reaches a little bit farther, flowing all the way out throughout your torso, your arms and hands, down into your hips and legs and feet, flowing and reaching out into your head and face the entire body alive with the sensation of warmth or of joy, of aliveness, whatever it may be, a sense of just being okay, just as you are. Noticing that you are still the one that is now holding the awareness of all that happens within your experience, every sensation, every emotion, every thought or belief. Now pausing for a moment, reconnecting again with your intention for your practice, with your resource, noticing your place of ground, of well-being or security, noticing breathing, your body breathing all on its own, easy and rhythmic. And then begin to imagine yourself carrying this with you into the rest of your day, into your daily life. This awareness that you can notice sensations and emotions and thoughts as they are constantly changing. 
as you notice the gradients, the gray areas and the spaciousness around your emotional experience beyond this or that. To all of the nuance and complexity of your inner world, your inner landscape. And then begin to take your time as you're ready, transitioning to a more alert, awake, oriented space, sensing into your body, sensing the room around you. If your eyes are closed, you may begin to find them open, gently blinking open and noticing what your gaze lands on. You may find a little rock in your head or your neck if that feels right or a roll of the shoulders or some movement in your hands, wrists, feet or toes, anything that begins to bring you back to your body, into the space, into the state of being alert and wide awake. And as we transition, I'll also just pause for a moment to extend some gratitude to you and for you for taking this time for yourself, for choosing you in this moment, for welcoming your experience, knowing that even tough things show up in these practices very regularly. And that also is very normal. Just fully welcoming yourself back. And I thank you for taking the time again and for joining me. Excuse my dog in the background. Thank you. That was really, I, I really love this feeling something, noticing it, and then feeling the opposite. I noticed for myself, I had resistance to feeling the opposite today, but then I allowed myself to open to it. And then I could really feel both of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's really great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And it can take a moment or a few moments or a lot of moments to transition out of a practice like this. We actually can drift into kind of different stages, mm-hmm. stages of consciousness or sleep. It's very normal. So I tell people to like give yourself a little time. Do something that's orienting for your body and grounding for your body, maybe having some cold water on your hands or feeling it some water on your face. Um, maybe not. Driving right away is typically a good idea, giving yourself some fresh air in your lungs and your nose and allowing yourself to shift. Um, And if that's not, what I'll say too is sometimes people hear them like, I didn't have that experience at all. What did I do wrong? And what I'll say is nothing. You did nothing wrong. And that whatever was present for you today was just fine, just as it is. And also that that is a part of this, this or that, that binary construct that we are working with, which is what tells us like, oh, I did it wrong or I did it right. And what I'll say is that's a part of the welcoming and the curiosity that there's so much more on the table. There are so many more options and that deconstructing that can get kind of messy and hard, but you're in it just by doing the practice, you are engaging in that practice. So Mm -hmm. for sure. Christina says, thank you. My attention feels more spacious and inclusive now. Mm, That's beautiful. Thank you, Christina. Everyone can join us next week Mm -hmm. where the topic will be moving beyond this or that in our minds. Mm -hmm. And I've put in the chat where you can find the whole collection. We're on session two of five. So you'll find the first session there now. Uh, this session will be there by tomorrow. And as the weeks go on, you'll find this whole collection with that link in our TRF somatic library. Mariah, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And thank you to everyone for joining us. I look forward to seeing those of you that can make it um, next week. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks everyone. Wonderful. Have a great, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.